I think the first thing was just dealing with the need for humility because we realized early on when we, we pulled together a number of partners across our agency, uh, particularly maternal and child health, adolescent school health, um, our WIC program, our uh, chronic disease program, we realized that we actually were not the leaders in this work, that those programs had already had initiatives going that were really upstream. They were shared risk and protective factor focused, even though they weren't calling it that. So we we had to kind of realize that we would take a convening role rather than like, hey, follow us, <laughs> because we were actually following them. Um, but it was, it was actually really helpful to be in that space because we were able to learn a lot and take a lot of time to talk with the our partners across the agency who were already doing this work around how do we, what do we call this and how do we connect this in with our state health improvement plan, uh, which was actually very sort of upstream and very focused on, on uh, shared risk and protective factors. So that process actually really helped us because it made us step back. I think the first thing was just dealing with the need for humility because we realized early on when we, we pulled together